interested in actually um, having the high school dropout rates reduced. There is a lot of concern about teens actually dropping out. I think part of it is actually having classrooms that are they feel are not relevant and very few opportunity for hands-on learning. So I really, on the one hand, I would like to encourage more of our educators to do more hands-on kinds of real-life situations, not only using the classroom, but the community as a classroom. I think people will actually, uh, students will want to go to school and learn if there's more of that kind of educational opportunity. At the same time, I think for uh, some students, there's things happening in their homes, and we really are aware of some you know, abusive situations, drug-related kinds of things that are going on, we need to help those students and those families because they have so much other things to deal with. It's hard to concentrate on school, and oftentimes that is the result. They drop off. So I think um, you know, that dropout issue is a concern. For those that are dropping out, I know there was also an interest in the um, in-school suspension program. I think that is very important to keep them engaged in school rather than excluding them from school. Mm -hmm. And hopefully they will have uh, the opportunity to really shine through these kinds of programs. Not necessarily just penalize them, but actually use their talents for uh, more positive things. Well, I thought the good thing with uh, in-school suspension comments that the students gave us is that they recommended that rather than you know being isolated, that they be required to fulfill a community service. service. Yeah. And I thought that that's a good way of reconnecting the students, you know, both with the community as well as with the school. Right. And I think Roosevelt can um, set that be an example mm -hmm. for other schools mm -hmm. too.